generation give me the grace the grace to become a weapon of revival olorun baba mi fun mi ni ori ofe lati le je ohun elo yi soji ni akoko yi prayer in the name of jesus are we praying oluwa Lord, turn me to a weapon of revival this time, this season, this period, in this generation. Oluwa sami di onwe lo isoji. Lati yo kolo mo si adore. Oluwa shemi ni onwe lo isoji. Alagbara shemi ni onwe lo isoji. Many are not saying this prayer because you don't have the understanding. Oluwa shemi ni onwe lo isoji. Ni akoko yi. Lord, turn me to a weapon of revival in my generation as a youth. Joseph was the weapon of revival. Lord, help me. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We honor you at this moment and we recognize you as our Father and as our teacher. We pray that you, yourself, you will lecture us today in the name of Jesus. I bring the hearts of your children before you. Cause it to be receptive of your word in the name of Jesus. Father, make it a good, fertile ground. And in their hearts, Lord, allow faith to be mixed with your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that at the end, our lives shall be transformed to your glory. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let Amen. us be seated. It is a pleasure to be in your midst this morning. I'm not taking it as a granted because it is a grace to stand before the saints. And I pray that Holy Spirit will help us this morning to be able to learn, to be able to go home at the end of today's service with at least a point. The theme for this month is Arise, Shine, taken from the book of Prophet Isaiah 61. And today we were asked to allow Holy Spirit to teach us under the topic Shining as Light, Influencing the World Through Godly Character. Shining is when something is emitting, reflecting, 
or starting is bright. But surely the emission, the reflection, and the brightness must be splendid. Shining, only baking, come out, done. Bositin, done, did done, yeah. Oh, woo, wa. Oh, yeah, ye. Oh, do, re. Why light? Light energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Right? Is a form of a, an electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength which is visible to the human eye or is naked to the eye. Be no yishe tombai, but go worry. We pay all ton, tinobaku, ibi by ma dudu abi beko. Olon run feki, e mi a tie yin, keke bi o mo do, ek bi o do, kama a tan, kama a don, ni bi ki bi ta abade, ki she ni pa shawi wawa, ki she ni pa batata bi ge le ta bawe, shubon, la ti pa se i wawa, true awa character. And not just ordinary character, godly character. Then, godly character, before I go to godly character, let me talk about character. What is character? Character is taken from a Latin word called mark. M-A-R-K. Meaning that that thing is distinctive. Let me use myself as an example. In this service now, okay, I will use the choir. You will discover that every one of us we are putting on prayer gun, right? White. But when you look at the choir, they are different. They are distinct with their uniform. Because of what? The lilac that is attached to the white. Likewise myself. Even I can say with the choir and the member. But you see that if anybody enters here with the purple sash that I'm having on, I'm distinct. So, our, our, our character is supposed to have distinctive quality. Now, what is character? I have so many things here. Character is your fruit. Your character is your fruit. Your character makes you relevant. Gives you honor makes people to respect you anywhere you get to then it is by your character fruit that you will be known anywhere you get to your character is your lifestyle is who you are when anybody is not with you or nobody is watching you and your character makes you different so what is now our godly character. I, I wrote here that our godly character is the ability. Ability to be able to discern what is right from what is wrong. Another one is our godly character is the supernatural help that we have received from the Lord. To make you and I to be able to shun sin or what is wrong. For example, in the Bible, Joseph, we discover that Joseph was able to run away from sin or temptation from Potiphar's wife. So he's known with his godly character. Your, God, your character or your godly character is your identity. Is your identity. It is what people recognized you for. Praise the Lord. Now, let's go to the topic. Shining as light. Influencing your world through your godly character. If we actually want to shine, when we say shining now, I believe that I am talking to children of God redeemed children of God genuine children of God not people that have dual life in the church they will be known as children of God 
but elsewhere, either in school, at home, there will be different person. I believe every one of us here, we are children of God. Paraventure, many are lacking. Before the end of today's service, Holy Spirit will touch us and we'll be, we, we will be able to turn back to the Lord and will become a new creature in the mighty name of Jesus. So shining as light means that people must see our team says arise shine and I've, I've been able to define shining and light in my own simple term that will be able to understand so when we say shining what does it mean people around you must be able to see what are they to see in you your holy life holy living Christ-like lifestyle godly attitude your character your attitude your habit that brings people to the Lord not the one that will chase people away from his presence praise the Lord you will discover that even when I entered I was surprised that the altar self looks scanty the congregation i know by the end of today's lecture the lord will help you and i to be able to bring more people as youth i pray and i know that the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus you can only influence your world with your character that is your unique character as you are seated what is your character kini why kini iwami Sincerely, as the word is going, many of us we are thinking within ourselves. Iwami no niwami now. Iwami she be wa no niwa. But only what ye mi mi mo fe ki mi ati ni ki ani. Praise the Lord. We will discover that as I am now. Okay, don't let me use myself. It's not good. Let me use brother, brother BC Koka. Ay. Let me use Brother B.C. Coca. As much as Brother B.C. does not want to have many friends, his character will always attract people to him. Isn't it? Why? It was because of what is emitting. What is reflecting in the church. Apart, aside being the vice chairman of the youth fellowship, he was vice chairman now, there's a man in Nigeria that every one of us will know, a man of God. All of us, youth, we love listening to his messages. Yes, we, we might not have met him on one on one, and that is Joshua Selman. But his teachings, his lecture, even people that know him. You, many of us we are following him isn't it why it is because of his character the way he carries himself what is reflecting what is emitting so your character what they see we make people to follow you and we make people to avoid you now if you now want to influence people we want to influence many people how do we now influence people we need to draw people to us. It is your character that will draw people to you. Your character now is liking to the light that is coming out of you. Praise the Lord. How do you now draw people to you? Praise the, to, your, uh, to the Lord. Or people will come to you. How will you, be, how will you be able to get people attracted to you? I will use the life of Jesus Christ as a perfect example. We will discover that in the Bible, Jesus is always drawing people to him, himself. He is not rigid. And he's not condemning. We really need to be careful. If you want to draw people to yourself, we have to eliminate rigidity and condemnation. Many of us, we are too rigid. We are too rigid. We are too rigid. Class, we need to avoid that. 
and condemnation. We condemn a lot. But we cannot find these two in the life of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We will discover that Jesus Christ was what? Flexible. He was flexible. In the book of Matthew, is it not chapter 9, 14, where he says that, let the children come to me. Ejekan wamo deko wa sodomi to riti wani ijoba or lorun Matthew 19 14. When you ejekan wa koli anwe in your kuro ni or dwe. Ra 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 ra. He was flexible. And we we'll discover that even in the case of this woman, this woman that was caught in um, in the act of adultery. If you really want to enjoy that story, if you go through the book of John chapter 7, you will see that the Pharisees and the Sadducees, initially they have discussed Jesus Christ. So they planned for him and they came in chapter 8 and they said, Jesus, we caught this woman in the act, in the very act. And according to the law of Moses, anyone that is caught in that act should be stoned. What should we do to her? we would discover that Jesus Christ never said anything. And eventually by the time he would talk, what did he say? If there's anyone among you that has not done this, pick a stone and stone her. We discover everybody ran away. And he went to the woman. He said, woman, I have not condemned you. Even if they have condemned you. But you too, go and sin no more. What has Jesus Christ there demonstrated there? He demonstrated what? Flexibility. Compassion. Right? Love. Unconditional love. He demonstrated love. He demonstrated friendship. He, de he, 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 he demonstrated relationship as well. Praise the Lord. If there is no relationship between I and this my darling sister, I cannot influence her. But we discover that in this generation, many youths, we are lacking in that area. Relationship. Having relationship with others. Even as we are seated, many of us here, true of us, because we just felt, because we just felt, relationship if you actually want to influence we need a relationship on a platter of relationship influencing is easier could you see why we see that jesus christ demonstrated that even when he was about to choose the disciples too he went to them one by one after that he now started teaching them, making them, and I will call it discipling. But we discover that discipling is fading off, it's fading away in our churches now. From January to this moment, today is November 26th. How many people have you discipled individually? We are not talking as youth fellowship group because I'm okay. There are many criteria attached to we have evangelical youth but we are talking about praise the lord now we would still discover that jesus christ you can influence people and you can create relationship you can show compassion with so many things but we discover that jesus christ used a particular thing in the bible you will see that in you trying to influence our your world there are a lot of things that we go for it and without wasting our time i want to talk about two major keys that we can use to influence our world if we actually want to talk about this influencing influencing like if we go to the book of Psalm, Psalm 119, verse 105. The word of the Lord says that the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet, isn't it? And is a lamp unto my 
path. It's talking about two things. Path and our feet. And that of our feet. It will only illuminate the step you can take per time, isn't it? Tabanri by Ubita Magbeses in Tobat was here or come back here. Can you cut my shell? Are we pay a little? I'm trying to talk about light lamp onto your path, the step you can take per time, and that is talking about direction lamp onto my path now he's talking about vision when you say path only we pay or not this red carpet simply i would say i would liken it to a path if we are ushering anybody in they will pass through this red carpet a path so that one is talking about vision and our vision talks about our future seeing the future so it means that the lord wants you and i to begin to shine as light instructing people to know the step to take in their lives as we are seated many people are confused they don't know what to do many are yearning to become but they don't know how to become so one need in your con. That is what in the book of Romans, the word of the Lord says that the word is expecting our word, our manifestation. As we are seated, many of us will believe that. Ah, Say to yourself, I'm loaded. You are loaded. So, our word, the word, they are expecting us to guide them. You will discover that someone that does not know what to do, the only thing that that person knows how to do best is a, to live a routine life. Routine life. Osun, oji, ojel, owe, ojade, owale, routine life. But you know, when God was creating you and I, He created us with a purpose. He created us with a purpose and as god has created you and i with a purpose we are not expected to live a routine life no what we're supposed to do is to make sure that on daily basis we are able to take that step that we are expected to take by time when you are supposed to go to school go to school when you are supposed to learn a trade learn it when you're supposed to you know all that you that is expected of you to be able to reach your goal to become what the lord has planned for you you are expected to do it lamp onto my feet and it is you that you are seated now the question you know is that if you and i if you don't see yourself as a light will you be able to lighten up the life of another person it's difficult and that's of vision you will see that many people many youths many people around us they don't believe that they have destiny they don't even believe that they are unique many don't believe that they are not a failure Many don't believe that they are not an error. Many believe that oh yeah, come be me. Even if your parents comes together in an error, you are not an error. You are not an accident. God allowed it because only in God of you are important in the hand of God. And God needs you even in His plan so if you don't see yourself as light you will not be able to teach others 
So when I talk about that vision now, you see that many people don't know what the future holds for them. It is you and I that will let them know that they are destined for good. They are destined to excel in life. They are not expected to fail. Praise the Lord. You know, many of us seated there, many people have gone to school to do wrong, uh, to go into wrong courses or wrong discipline. Why? One more. Many parents will even force. Not in the Mufeko Loshi. One lower one be. Shotiba. Not in school. Loma lo. Hello. Best in Loma Reach. Hmm. Doctor in Mufeko Shi. Me or more. If we ask Doctor Alabi, I don't think your parents forced you to read medicine. Oh, what lot in no But we discovered that many people. One force, one. Lo shele, lo shele. Tom ashe, ton no. Kilo ma shele. One mo bon she ma she. On lo she poju. On lo poju nsi. So you shining as light, influencing your world. You are to help people to know what the future holds for them. On to wa lo jo la won. Many people are pastors, teachers. You know you are expected to operate in the fivefold ministry. Why? Fashion designer Lenny, they are supposed to be lady evangelists, but they don't know it. Because could anybody Thomas Do we remember that Enoch in the book of Acts of uh, Apostle chapter 8? That was reading. He was reading. I would say the driver of that. Uh, uh that's queen but holy spirit you know spoke to philip that live here somebody is somewhere that needs your attention this person has been reading the word but this person does not understand and we read in the bible that immediately philip got to this man and asked him do you understand what you are saying how will i know when there's nobody to teach you so the world is expecting your manifestation. He's expecting every one of us in youth fellowship to shine into that darkness. Now, let me talk about the darkness. When we look at Isaiah 60, verse 2, many versions say that gross darkness, thick darkness, Abibeko, only there is darkness. But we see that the way now put it to in said that gross darkness the people. Behold, the darkness shall cover, cover. But when it comes to people, it says that gross darkness the people. What does that mean? Ignorance. Ignorance is darkness. I mokan okunkuni. And that is what I've been trying to say. I mean, to tell us. You see that many people, you know, they cannot differentiate the right from the left. Even till date, many people have come to church since January to this moment. Many people are still coming to church. They believe that, let me come to church, mark register, wear prayer gown. Eh, which church are you going? See our next church. Just to be a member. Of CNS Church. Many people even believe that when I come to church, King Sovision, Kemi Lomi, King Soron, King Fede for Praise the Lord. Hello, me, I will, let me come. I will teach. I will be Sunday school teacher. But have you sat down to really know why God created you? I am not saying all those that I've mentioned are bad, though. I'm not saying they are wrong. But you will see that that is what many people will do. And they will lose their vision. Destiny will be wasted. Our money, she won't see how long. But yeka ye koti da juba ilo. Listen, it will be an error if you don't know why you are created. What God wants you to do on earth? Gross darkness. Osea four six say, says that my people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. But if you read further. It says that that knowledge, Owen Bell, won't reject any. The knowledge was there. But look at this. They reject it because thou hast rejected the knowledge. 
You know that many of us, as we are seated, we know so many right things to do. Why? We have formed our own mindset. And remember that I told you the other time that godly character is you being able to discern what is good from what is wrong. Receiving supernatural help from God to be able to run away from sin, from temptation. Do you remember that I said that? It will, it will definitely help us. Ignorance. As light, I wrote here that you and I, we are expected to shine as light to help many people. To help them to know the step to take part time. Praise the Lord. Spe specifically, I wrote here that as light, light is knowledge. Ignorance is darkness. So if you are light, you should be able to know yourself. You should be able to know your identity. Also, I said that you should be able to know what to do. You should be able to know that you are loaded. That was why I said, say I'm loaded. Say I'm loaded. I can't hear you. You are loaded with power. You are loaded with wisdom. You are loaded with knowledge. You are loaded with what? With his anointing. You are loaded with his name. Because even with his name alone, that name is influencing you. You can do so many things. But you don't know you are loaded. So if you are light, you should be able to know that you have all this in the inside of you. And with that, you will now be able to do what? To erase the darkness, that ignorance around you by helping others. To fulfill their purpose on earth. To fulfill their destiny. I said to, add, to be able to identify themselves in Christ. Many seated here. Abi, sincerely. Opolopo to wa la shono, a shono kolo ye ko wao. Opolopo to wa ni media units, media units kolo ye kon wa akorin lo ye kon wa o. Praise the Lord. See, until we go to the Lord and we ask the Lord, we will not be coming to church and be sitting like this without doing anything in His presence. Many seated, you are supposed to be in intercessory units. Interceding for the church. But I like Badura. Three hours. Ah, Ibi Makwami. Ojoti Malo. Abibeko. You will discover, watch carefully. When it is time for Bible studies, people will be going out. When it is time for the word, salmon, many will leave. Why? The, the, the enemy does not want them to be able to know. Or to understand what they are created for. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wrote here that. Part of our assignment. As light. Is to bring the children of God. Into the knowledge. Of the word of God. To be able to know. The ability that is endowed. In the inside of them. For you to be able to know your strength. What you can do in the presence of God. For you to be able to know your destiny. If Joseph had not had the understanding of his purpose in life. He would have what? Fell. Look at David too. As he was falling. He was rising because oh my purpose. And the Bible calls him a man after the heart of God. The Lord will help you and I in the name of Jesus. This is why when we come in contact with a Muslim boy or lady, when we go out for evangelism and you preach the word of God to them, you will discover that that Muslim person, the way that person will receive the word of God, he will take it as if it is everything about his life. Even the the uh the mentee no the mentor too is there ah she be minimal converted it is because he was operating in darkness sorry i'm not saying muslims are in darkness please 
I am just using it as an example that somebody that is in darkness, but we all know that any Muslim convert, so when you pick anybody from outside and you now introduce Jesus Christ to that person, you will discover the person comes in contact with good mentor. Example is uh, Paul in the Bible. Paul. Remember that Paul understand the law. Da, da, nobody can counter him when it comes to law. He was operating by the law. But the moment he came in contact with light, what happened to him? We all knew the man he became. He even worked or excelled in ministry than all the people he met. And he mentored Timothy. Isn't it? The world is writing it for you who you have nurtured. Praise the Lord. I wrote here that it is important to know that the world may influence people with money, with power, with title. You are expected to influence your world with values. V-A-L-U-E-S. What are these values? The direction, the vision, and the knowledge that you have impacted in their lives. Praise the Lord. In the text that we have read, we will discover that we had we have a, a, a character there, Dorcas. You will see that Dorcas influenced the people around him with what? Good work. Good work. That good work is a godly character. And I want you to note this that when you sow thoughts, your thoughts will become your habits. When you sow habits, your habit will become your character. When you sow your character, your character will become your destiny. You will discover that Dorcas, because of the good deeds, Tonshe, Nibanye, Ifu Nibba Toku, all the brethren, one koku. good works. So you can only influence, you can only shine as light through your godly character in your neighborhood to the married ones in your home to the youth in our offices in our classes and i pray that the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus before i go to advantage and disadvantage now you will discover that when you introduce values to people you have totally transformed lives around you naturally once you introduce these values to them, you have transformed that life. They will no longer be who they used to be. Now, well, quickly, as I stop, the advantages of you influencing or shining through godly character, number one, you are fulfilling kingdom mandates. When you shine as light, influencing the world through your godly character, you are fulfilling kingdom mandates. In the Bible, the word of the Lord says, Go ye into the world. Doing what? Baptizing. Preaching the word. Isn't it? Number two, you become obedient child. Your own understanding. Number three, you are gathering treasures. What do I mean by that? With your good works, the heavens are writing it down for you. This is what you did. Heaven focuses on you. In our Bible school, we have a course noted in hell. If anybody is sleeping beside you, just rub the laps of that person or the shoulder. Just rub, rub. Eh, eh. Eh, don't allow anybody to sleep beside you. I know we are tired. Praise the Lord. We have a course noted in hell. You know, if you are a true child of God and you are shining as light, you are noted in hell. Why? You are noted because you are changing people to the Lord. And you are noted because they are planning to break your fellowship with the Lord so that you can do what? You can stop doing that. Likewise, in heaven, you are noted with whatever you are doing. And number five, I wrote here, longevity. Look at what happened to Dorcas. Chibotiku. But the brethren cried, Peter, come back, Doku, Koko Doku, 
as many that you 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 uh, you influence their life even as the record praise the lord and lastly i wrote here that your fame is known just as in isaiah 60 verse 15 where you have been rejected nobody even wants to reckon with you but the lord says he will make you an eternal excellency of what of the lord these are the disadvantages you become an obedient child you tie down your future number one obedient child number two you tie down your future how if i am supposed to influence funkekon if i'm supposed to influence funke in my life and i refuse to influence her why maybe i don't like her i don't want to stress myself i stop influencing her hello she will not be able to influence these two people influencing is like a network right but if i influence her today i'm just doing it as expected nurturing her in the word of god guiding her the step to take counseling her at the right time right in the next five years definitely i would not expect her to still be in youth fellowship she will be with her husband in canada right and one day she will just think of me you know what i have taught her when she gets to canada she'll be able to make do with it right and she can never forget me even if she cannot take me to canada what will she do mommy god bless you thank you so if you refuse to influence the world around you with your godly character you are tying down your own future you know i told you that you have to enable people to see beyond now and we will discover that uh, this man this man did that in the bible saul who did saul helped because i want to give you the biblical character that actually influenced their world and i stop here paul paul raised men he raised timothy david raised 400 400 how will i put it? hopeless people he turned them to soldiers i want it nobody wants to reckon with them and no we really need to be careful many of us how many talore you want to mention them go test sons abibeko you want to mention tinobu abi no it's not by that start from somewhere esther too another powerful woman in the bible is naomi every mother-in-law were having problems with their sister their daughter-in-law but this woman raised roots through roots now david came through jesse through him jesus christ came had it been this woman has despised her that aramuabu and when you talk long tiko that was why i have told you from the beginning rigidity and condemnation and the last person is who deborah deborah influenced the israelites all the women in the bible she is the only powerful woman that that was playing five roles and was able to influence our world successfully i pray that the lord will help us to be able to shine as light to be able to do what to influence our world in the name of jesus if we have any question i want to stop here any question if you are doing that do it for the lord of lords to the king of kings to the rose of sharon i am that i am our rock of ages him alone is worthy to receive our appreciation question and if there is none we pray happy please please if you have question raise up your hand now so that we can count so you ask a question or you write it down and send it forward it cannot come out 
Are we writing? Are we coming out? You see, there is no question. If there is no question, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, so quickly, I just want to ask this man. You mentioned in some, um, as in part of your teaching, you said um, some are supposed to be in the choir, why they are the media units, why some are in the warding units, and they are supposed to be in the choir. Um, do, you, do you believe the switch is possible? Is it possible? And how do how did they go about it? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let me cite a man in the Bible. We all know that Peter, we all know him to be what? A fisherman. And he was enjoying it. Nobody can beat him to that. But do you realize that the moment he got in contact with the Lord Jesus Christ, that was when he discovered that he was carrying some things. He has some inner ability, some inner power. Some, so, some powers that are inside of him. Tiomo. Now, why I said that only we, we you know, in our church, not, not in our church, in the choir, many people were like, many people joined. Many people join because of the voice. I have Sorono's voice, voice. I can sing. I can do this. But what I'm trying to say is that even when you know what you are created to do, I will still be functioning there, but this is my primary. Do you understand? Okay. Fine. I was in the choir before this man to fell upon me. But Momo Wipe Akori Ibe Yeni Moti Bere. She you get it. Mon Kwaori E mi o mo wipe boyan kon me tungwa. But why serving there, Abi? Along by mimu. Then at times, hello me, only je wipe. Because my friend is here, let me do it. Though we can influence in such manner. If I'm a Bible uh, Sunday school teacher now, I can influence my friends to be coming to the uh, 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 expository class I'll be on Monday. But as they are coming, I know that many people have discovered themselves in such class. So at times we will not know. You will discover that I want to get a corner one. If one microphone can need the reaza. Oh mama jabo ba ili. Ori ye mama wa e mimi mo mama fu. But you see that many are still struggling there. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So every one of us here, what we, what is expected of us? Let us go back to the Lord. Olu ai boloti nilo mi. Iboni imoti ma wulo fu. Hello, me to Joko. Yesterday we were in a in a meeting in the main church, and the wording said that they need uh, many people to join them. But akolo pa kuni lo njoko ni bi bai. Tong shen koko koko wa church kono. Hello, me ma wulo ni bi shia shono ye. Every time ma koko ba weni ah mama duro. It's not you that will stand. It's the Lord that will empower you. That will strengthen you. I duro ni lo jaka lo me sa. You keba weni mo shefe duro. That is what I'm just trying to say, Brother Yemi. We pay or call up our bitter hour. I told you, we don't need me to be our law. Give some people prayer ministration. Give them prayer ministration. By no man, many people have, you know, um, 
did prayer administration here. I will go to chairman, Nibba Emani, Ibolatera Okuri, Shawani, no youth, Nibiba. So the Lord will help us. All what you need to do, go to the Lord. The Lord will talk to you, the Lord will speak to you, and He will direct you to Jesus. Another one? Yes. Another question, ma. Yeah, I want to commend you for that wonderful lecture. I pray that the Lord Almighty God will continue to strengthen you more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, my own question is this, ma. What can we do if you, uh, in the process of engaging somebody, in the process of trying to influence somebody, and you discover that the mentee is so stubborn and this cut across our personal life through our career even in the church you cut you come across somebody that is so stubborn so what are the tips that we can adopt even as an husband as a friend even as a professional too what are the tips that we can we can adopt in order to succumb that stubborn mentee or stumble person that you met in the process of trying to influence. Praise the Lord. Anyone that is still stubborn now, what happens to uh, okay? Anybody that is that is stubborn, any balagidi, it means that person kuti domolo da da kuti gbaye li olonu lowo on no shin dari arai. Hello. Koti ala Holy Spirit, koma darie. Oni wipe awon mo lorun o la nti owo emi mi mo dari. Romans 8:14. Emi mi mo lo ma dari e. Sherry, many of us we don't know that we are stubborn until we get to some certain stages. Lo ma to mo pe, mo stubborn no. When they say do this and emi o le she o. Ah, mi le she. Hello. Come how will I put it now? Kamu busy, ani ki busy ko basa kore ko ma kore nsi. Et you understand? I want to read a bunch of keys. But a mimi mo wale ya ni le nupe to ba she mo microphone ye dani. Ko mo ko o. Chuba after series of training, a kore. Praise the Lord. My brother, what we can do for such person? Just pray for the person. Number one, before you mentor anybody, always remember that person in prayer. Make sure that person is a new creature. Oti gbai olorun sinu aye. Ohun to nse leju ni church ni pe many of us we assume our salvation. Ha ki so mo olorun, right? A de fe sisi olorun. O ma ma ta kora won now. A si ni awon believe kan ni ta, bo se nse le le norms ni now. Uh, so you pray for the person you pray when you pray you will just discover that one day i repeat paul to back letter amani and that dura funi igbami onani emma badura funwa so we pray for ourselves someone wrote a question and the person says if one influences another and the person improved in all his or her doings. But later, fr later friend the person that influenced him or her. Taunt. Later taunt the person or do the Lord will deliver you. <laughs> later taunt the person that influenced him or her to an enemy. If the influencer decides to stop influencing people, will God get angry? Praise the Lord. Will God get angry? Also, is okay. Is it proper to request for money before influencing people? Hey. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Let me answer the qu first question. You see, when you are influencing person someone or you are mentoring someone and at a point in time that person decides that he's not listening to your teachings or your whatsoever again number one no joke go and check yourself hello you let me say the mentor now sit down check yourself Listen, 
when we talk about character the moment any as you are seated the moment you observe any negative issues about our chairman will you follow him no. so mentors need to be careful when you are influencing someone you really need to be careful and you will discover that i am 100 percent sure that what the person that asks this question that maybe the mentor is always asking for money from the mentee there will be problem he will just tell you that why you better read or then come in because you don't go well over me demo it is an error then another way it may be that that person Emma be no should I liken it to our youth no that question yeah she mo pe ni sin she ki mo microphone kuro ko ma gbo ni main church kin so kin so she mo pe oloju nkan ta won baba wa le ba wa na so nsin ta ma nfe gba she mo be bo se question yi bo se ri ni yen o so kini nkan to fa ta se ki nfe gbo nkan ta won baba wa awon de ni baba wa ko de si bo mo de se le la so ko le la ki sa ta gba la gba eh ki le so praise the lord on a more serious note hello e je ka bara wa so otoro listen e gbo mo gbo mo ri gbogbo kini yen e fara bale let me tell you the truth our generation is different from their generations right so even if they are teaching us we will take it with wisdom it's not by rebellious by a rebellion we are not supposed to be rebellious ogboni ko so mo de kokon to njare agbalagba ko si se de mo pe wa nu bibeli oni e ma se ba awon agbawi e gba won ni yanju so if somebody is guiding you you are guiding somebody and the person refuses to listen to you brother sister check yourself first if you observe that there's no uh, no negative attitude or character from your end pray for the person o le je pe ota gangan ni o fe ke ni yen ko lo siwaju because it happens like that how can it? ah omo yi tin ri mole how will i draw this person from that light so it's in two ways now it is very very wrong for somebody that is influencing you to be asking for money from you error ni ara error to ti wa ni aye yi ni yen if you want to gift your uh, your mentor it has to be your own it has to be willingly it has to be willingly it must not be forced or in form of extortion i hope i have answered this person's question let us pray let us pray we are still going to sing that song that we sang And we are going to turn it to prayer. You see, the first 
first person that Holy Spirit brought to my heart is Samson. The Lord created Samson to be a light. But Samson never knew. What happened to him? He died with the enemy. You will cry to the Lord. Lord, I have come to your presence today. Reveal my identity to me in the name of Jesus. Oluwa unti moje lowo ore. Ohun to o fe fi mi se. Olorun fi on me. Prayer in the name of Jesus. I don't like the way we are praying. Be intentional about it. The year is going to an end. 2023, Titan. So Cry to the Lord. Lord, reveal my identity to me. Lord, reveal my identity to me. I cry to you today. Reveal my identity to me. Lord, reveal my identity to me. So that I'll be able to fulfill my purpose on earth. So that I will be able to fulfill the kingdom mandates. So that I'll be able to fulfill the kingdom mandates. Lord, reveal to me my identity. Oh, told me why you wash it or do a film. Oh, but I me. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Another character in the Bible is Daniel. Remember, Daniel was in captivity, and in Babylon they have made up their mind. To take care of them to the fullest give them different kind of delicacies but right there daniel realized that no i'm not supposed to be where i am and for me to fulfill purpose to fulfill kingdom mandate i must not eat out of this food i must not partake in the food that is sacrificed to the gods and he told them am i for me I want you to cry to the Lord. Oluwa, Many people have taken wrong steps. Many people have, you know, entangled with wrong friends. Many people are in wrong association. You will cry to the Lord. Lord, help me. Ina inu mi to ti ku nipa awon igbese kan ti mo gbe nipa awon irin kan ti mo rin nipa awon ore ti mo olorun to ina inu mi se olorun to ina inu mi tan oluwa je ki ina yi je ko tun bu jade si prayer in the name of jesus father i come to you today paraventure i have mixed with wrong friends i have been in wrong association and this has extinguished the light in me. Lord, I come to you today. Help me, Lord. Repair this fire. In no no me. Oluwa ba mi tu she. Jeko ma josi. Oluwa jeko ma josi. Oba wwa ba jeko ma josi. Elebu rike jeko ma josi. Jeko ma josi. Ono wa yera ye jeko josi. No mi jeko ton. Jackie, I get for you, no, Jackie, no, me caught on sea. Or Tama Jacob, they pass. Or do I Jackie, no, you caught on sea. Jesu, or do I Matthew 5 14 16 14 to 5 16 actually explains that in 15 says that can we light a candle and put it under the table? That is what many of us we are doing. Okolokwa wa inawa anda shopo ni. Okolokwa inawa abe tebu la besi. 
Hello, me, you know, you're going to boss on I want you to cry to the Lord. Lord, give me the grace, grant me the grace to be able to shine again. Remember, that grace was given to Samson. Only Olua, checking no iron, iron ye, go to your leg, consider. Tell the Lord, Lord, grant me the grace that my light will shine. Grant me this grace, Lord. Grant me this grace as the year is going to an end. Grant me the grace that my light will shine so that I will reflect in the dark. So that I will call people unto you. I will be able to influence my word. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Lord, I cry to you today. Grant me the grace to be able to shine again. Grant me the grace to be able to reflect. Grant me the grace to be able to swallow every darkness around me. Oh, you me your affair. Latin, let go to a light. You me. Oh, no, I want me. Lord, help 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 me. Oh, you are me. For me, the only of faith. Olorun ro mi lowo Oluwa ro mi lowo Oluwa ro mi lowo Jesus ro mi lowo Oba won ba ro mi lowo Gbogbo dile Jesus ro mi lowo di owuro yi Ina inu mi je ko tun ton si Ma je ko se pa Ma ma je ko se pa Yes In Jesus name we have prayed Do we remember the parable of the sowers the sower we remember the four points where the seed fell into you remember that one fell amidst stones now listen i just want